Hello, hello, hello out there. This channel is a cross between a Seinfeld-esque show about nothing and a humble attempt to offer insights of what works for a single individual nomad and her dog. Today's vlog is a cake from that recipe. I do want to say that this video is not sponsored. This is just my personal opinion, belief, and advocacy for these products that have legit held up for the past year and a half and done me well. Today we're going to talk about the mundane yet captivating world of hygiene with a long-term review of our off-grid shower system. I say R because I've bathed Riot as well as myself with it. I say long-term as our shower system has been continuously used over the past year and a half as my only source for bathing besides streams and rivers. I am making this video advocating for it as the shower system requires no plumbing, cost a little over $100 and has not failed us yet. Living in the desert is invariably dirty, but there's no reason to be filthy. Riot and I hike a lot, so we accumulate a lot of dust, sweat, and desert dirt. And while baby wipes and bird baths can go a long way, a shower is certainly in order after a few days. When I first started out on the road, I had a foot pump pressured shower bag that only lasted about a month until one of the seams failed. I replaced it with the shower system we have now, and for those that are new here, this would be pre-cargo trailer, back when we were just living in the shell of the truck. I like my shower setup so much, I carried it over when we expanded into the cargo trailer, despite the opportunity to build an inside shower. Partly because I'm lazy, and partly because it just works. I will admit an outdoor shower isn't for everyone, but it meets my needs and wants, including not having to clean a shower area, no extra water or gray tanks, no plumbing, no indoor humidity created, and no need to break camp to go into town to find a shower. There is also something delightfully primal about being naked in nature. But because I am also a private person, I do use a privacy shower tent. This Wolf Wise shower tent has been through a lot, including a couple monsoons in New Mexico, five months of sitting out in the elements during my camp hosting gig, and weekly putting up and taking down. For $60, this shower tent has far surpassed my expectations. While it is a little narrow inside and has blown over on me a few times, you can't beat a product that is still usable after so much abuse. Inside the tent, I have an old dog kennel mat, which is waterproof and made for drainage to stand on to keep my feet clean. And for a water tank, I use a five gallon black bucket with a gamma lid. If I'm near a lake or river, I just fill the bucket from that. Otherwise, I fill it when I fill my other water jugs. The water heats from the sun, and if it's not hot enough for my liking, I simply add a pot of boiled water to it for added warmth. Most of the time, the sun is enough. To facilitate the water into an actual shower, I use, and can't recommend enough, the Ivation shower head. This, like the shower tent, has been heavily used and continues to deliver. This portable 1.81 pound USB rechargeable shower pump allows for about a 10 minute shower with five gallons of water. The hose is about five feet and comes with a suction cup and clip hanger to allow for hands-free showering. The water pressure is enough to rinse up as well as down, if you know what I mean, and has built-in filtration to make sure you are cleaning yourself with clean water. 
For only $40 and over a year and a half of full-time use, I feel like this is money really well spent. If you're wondering, there are links to these products in the description box below. This shower system, as I've said before, is not for everyone. I feel this setup is ideal for someone who prefers a sense of freedom over comfort. Pretty much all my setup is. Sometimes it's uncomfortable to shower outside, but I'd rather endure 10 minutes of discomfort a couple times a week than have to deal with a plumbing system or be dependent on gyms and truck stops, which is befitting because nomadic living for me is a conscious decision to be less dependent on many things. What really sparked the filming of this video was I was recently offered to test a um, hot water tank system, which would still allow me to shower outside, but would have a hot water tank. And obviously that's very luxurious and all that. And I turned it down partially because I didn't want to carry a propane tank and partly because what I have works and I just didn't see the point of lugging this bigger system around for the luxury of hot water. And you know, sometimes I think, wow, that sounds a little bit masochistic and I'm not out here to suffer or anything, but I think there is something to the theory that a little bit of discomfort um, is like mentally healthy. Like it's good to challenge yourself that way. And so I figure for 20 minutes, or so a week of the time that it takes me to take a few showers, um, that little bit of discomfort is, um, I don't know, uh, mentally enhancing. I guess you could consider it like David Goggins ultra, 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 ultra light. All right, hold on, before you go, um, you know, I like to come in unscripted again because so much of that was voiceover and I wrote it out. I actually wrote the whole shower review kind of like a poem, which I might post on our blog. If you're not familiar, we do have a website, luxandriot.com. The right end of this equation is over there sniffing a bush that must have baby lizards in it. Um, <clears throat> and I don't mean to make showering quite so existential, although I have been reading Nietzsche lately for the past six months and... I think it's promoting both a nihilistic and an existential sense in me. Uh, but showering is important and you know there's a lot of different ways to do it and nothing that I do is particularly luxurious and it's not for lack of ability to live a luxurious life. It's because I don't want to and I haven't figured out why I don't want to, but I can't be the only one out there. So uh, the intent of this video is to say that you can spend under $100 and maybe it's not the most luxurious system, but it is super, super adequate. And maybe if you don't have a lot of funds, I you want to buy something that, you know, is tried and true and tested. And I can say that the shower system really, really is. Also, like I said at the beginning of the video, hygiene or how do you stay clean? How do you shower? You know, how do you keep yourself feeling human is um, one of the questions that I get quite a lot. And so I hope that this was helpful to explain. I know some of my subscribers are also nomads, so my question to you is, what is your shower system? Do you go to gyms? Do you go uh, to truck stops? Do you pay for those showers? Do you have an onboard shower system that you prefer? This is what works for me. I'm always curious what works for other people. Not that I'm looking to change, but more just like um, conversation and also to help anyone else in the comments that looks at what I'm doing and thinks it's like, you know, <laughs> shower flagellation in order <laughs> to punish yourself and really that's not my intent i just enjoy it um anyway thank you so much for watching stay clean out there and please like and subscribe if you're inclined to do so thank you mm -hmm.